So we're supposed to celebrate our triumphant return without our beloved quartermaster, eh? Oh, other than the hiccup, we did bring home quite a prize. A hiccup? Well, I suppose that's one word for it. Yeah. We got our all triumphant and worthy of celebration, like you say. Indeed it is. Will you share it with me? Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no. No need to go baby in your cap now. Maybe young in age, but not young in experience. No better, you've seen worse. You're right, I have seen worse. Let's get back to the Oh, that's... After that hike, I need just a bit of time to rest. Come, join me, friend. What's up, kicking rocks? Just hanging back to see if your wobbly ass falls into the sea. You just let me fall, was you? A moment, maybe. You fish me out, though. I wish I have, haven't I? I suppose you have. Wouldn't be in this position we are if it weren't for you. And I wouldn't be alive if not for you. Aye. Now sit. <clears throat> Beautiful, isn't it? The way the light just kisses the sea like that. It is. And now, thank you, Captain. Oh, Christ, pretty. Why did you become such a prude? You know, most of the men on this crew would kill to be in your position. Sitting on a beach, having a drink with the captain. I take advantage of it and drink. It's just a damn shame not all of us came back to see it, though. And how are the crew feeling about it? The crew? Yeah, they need no explaining. They saw it all, the craze in his eyes. The only thing on their minds is precisely the same thing they saw on mine. And that is? Why? It's hard to say, really. But I've been expecting the man of doing something like that for weeks now. Kev? Why didn't you tell me? I was certain I was wrong. Yeah. And I thought it was until the day that he charged at you. I considered him a friend. Uh, maybe all this is just getting me head. No. You've got a lot on your plate. My job is the men, and if anyone screwed up, it's me. And either of us are at fault here, really. A man charged at me, and I put him down. I guess what he was before doesn't matter. I gotta keep my eye on the bigger picture. It was a hiccup, like I said. Nevertheless, rightly seeing us having a mock like this on my first time at the helm. Makes me wonder what Captain Morley would have done about it. Precisely the same you did, all in all. It was a perfect voyage. And thanks to the way you handled it, we remain two of the most respected pirates on this beautiful rock. Perhaps the youngest and prettiest in our positions as well. <laughs> Youngest eye, prettiest. Maybe just the one of us, eh? Right, let's head back. <laughs> no witty retort? Hmm? Well, that thing is quite a menace, don't it? What were you doing out here all on your lonesome? Well, last time we were here, I heard things and I figured I'd check it out. Things about that? What kind of things? Ritualistic life. Yeah, that explains your interest then. Conclusion? I figured they were true, but we should create as much distance as possible, like I said. Yeah, I've been trying to leave me away. You don't like hearing them things. That which is dead needs to stay dead, no doubt about that. Agreed. Let's head back. Right. 
Must have keep him waiting. Henry, please don't do that. What are you hiding from me? No. Are you pointing a pistol at me? Yes. Put it down. You don't understand. I can't. Yes, you can. Please just let it be. Let's put that thing down. Walk back to camp. We can talk about this later. Not unless we both go together and forget that bloody thing. You know I can't do that, man. Let's <laughs> go.